I am making lavender and vanilla African black soap. But my question to you is, what fragrance immediately makes you feel calm once you smell it? Is it jasmine? Is it vanilla? Is it sage? Is it weed? Hold that thought. In this video, we're going to explore scents that are known to make us feel calm. Grab something to munch on, grab a drink, and let me do all the work in making this lavender and vanilla African black soap. Everybody. Welcome, I'm Natasia, and I'm going to be making lavender and vanilla African black soap. African black soap is one of the golden treasures from Africa, if you didn't know. <laughs> but before we get into that, I want to welcome you. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. You are phenomenal. And if you are a return visitor, you are greatly appreciated and phenomenal also. Let's get into this video, guys. Now this is my sugar water lye solution and when you combine it together, it gets very hot. The sugar helps to boost the lather in soap and that's why I use it. But because of how dangerous this can be, there are no kids, no pets, no birds, no goldfish, no animals, no food, no drinks, no tea, no coffee, no husband in the room with me. Nothing that's going to distract me is in the room. I have to be focused when using this solution and this is tussle silk now tussle silk adds a soft silky luxurious feel to your soap with more and it also adds more slip to your soap bar the silk proteins help to soften your skin and improve moisture retention so the tussle silk itself is a protein produced by a silkworm moth the cocoons are left behind by the silkworms and are collected and spun into single fibers. The worms and the moths are not harmed or killed in this process. And there are several species of these tussle silk moths in China, India, Japan, Africa, and North America. So I'm gonna add a little bit to our lye water solution so that our soap bar final product can be soft, have lather increased in it, and it will have a slip to it which should add to the calmness that we're trying to create in making this soap bar. Now you see me adding oils and butters together and then I'm going to add lye to it. Now these are not random measurements or anything like that. I actually have to use a soap calculator to calculate my recipe so that everything works. So I will include a link to that soap calculator in the description box below. And if you're interested in seeing how I use that calculator and how I pick my ingredients, let me know in the comment section and I'll do a video on how I use this calculator to create my recipe. And here's the star of the show, Raw African Black Soap. Now, if you haven't seen my turmeric and ginger video, please watch it. I go deeper into the origins of African black soap, how it's made, how Africans make it, and some of the ingredients that go into it. I'm going to be adding five ounces of this to my batter. As you can see on its own, African black soap lathers. And this is great for some skin ailments. You can use it for dandruff razor bumps but again do your own research i can't make claims but this is what it's known for it's been around for centuries so i'm 
I'm going to be adding this in. It's a very naturally made soul with palm oil, palm kernel oil, shea butter, roasted plantain skins, cocoa pod. It's a beautiful, beautiful soul. And I respect Africans for making it and keeping that tradition alive to modern times. So as you can see, the silk fibers have dissolved. I'm still going to filter it into my oils because I do not want loose fibers floating around in the soap. Although that wouldn't harm the soap at all, I still don't want that. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix my batter to a very light emulsion. Emulsion is the process of when you mix your oils and you lie together and you'll see something called a trace, light, medium, and heavy trace. You barely see a trace with this because I'm gonna be doing more blending, so I don't wanna blend it too much because I don't want the soap to get so stiff that I cannot add it to my soap mold. Now earlier I asked you what fragrance, if you smell it, makes you feel immediately calm. You see me adding lavender from Bamble Brambleberry, is Lavender 4042. And lavender is probably one of the most popular scents for relaxing and for falling asleep. If you walk down the baby aisle, you'll see a lot of products like baby bath and things of that nature made with a lavender or chamomile scent and that is because it's known to relax and make you fall asleep so there's properties in it that's supposed to help calm you and help release tension and soothe racing thoughts and help you unwind it's great for uses in aromatherapy now vanilla is more of a familiar scent and apparently according to some studies some businesses scent their business with vanilla because for some reason not only does it reduce anxiety and stress and produce calmness but it also elevates your mood and help encourage people to keep shopping but that's 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 not why I'm doing it I'm doing it because this particular lavender fragrance is extremely it's not extremely powerful but it's powerful enough where I feel like it's a little too strong and I wanted to soften it up with vanilla. So what scents do you smell that makes you feel calm? Is it lemongrass? Uh, lemongrass, if you inhale it, is supposed to also promote relaxation and reduce anxiety. What about neroli? Neroli is actually known to be a sedative in some countries and it's supposed to be known to improve menopausal symptoms and PMS symptoms when you inhale it. Isn't that crazy? I, you know, I'm gonna provide links below to these studies so you can check them out for yourself. Now, lemon is also known to improve, the lemon essential oil is also known to improve your mood. It helps to promote sleep. It helps to ease symptoms of depression and relieve stress. What about ylang ylang, which is extremely expensive in my opinion ylang ylang is another aromatherapy fragrance or scent and is known to decrease blood pressure and reduce stress and reduce stress hormone levels isn't that isn't that something these are just fragrances these are just scents Any fragrance that you guys like this the smell of that's calming but it's weird for example do you like the smell of gasoline <laughs> do you like the smell of someone's foot do you like 
the smell of sewer. What scent makes you feel relaxed and calm, but it smells odd? Now I'm gonna tell you guys something. Don't judge me, don't judge. I like the smell of baby puke. Like, you know, like three month old or less. Baby puke, oh my goodness. I love the pukey, pukey, pukey smell. I don't know, something about it relaxes me. this part of making this soap. Look at those swirls. It is, that is beautiful. Beautiful. And it smells like lavender vanilla. Now, I just want to let you guys know that any fragrance that you use in soap that has like a bakery scent or a sweet scent has something called vanillin in it. And vanillin has a tendency to turn the soap brown. It doesn't mean that it ruined the soap, it just turned soap brown. So the bottom half of the soap that I have the vanilla in, which is the, the African black soap part, is going to get darker. I did not put it in the white part because I didn't want the white part to get any darker than that. I just wanted it to stay like that white creamy texture. Now I'm going to give you guys three tips on how to boost your calming experience when you bathe but before you do that look at those swirls and that soap that is just beautiful and if I have gave you some value in this video please hit that like and subscribe button y'all better hit that subscribe button cuz I've been giving you history I've been giving y'all facts <laughs> I'm, I'm giving it up for you guys so please hit that subscribe button but let me give you three tips that I feel can boost your experience, your calming experience when you bathe. Number one, <laughs> by myself, of course, by my natural self. Um, and number two is to get a loofah. Now, I have a seven ways to increase your lather video. Check that video out. That video shows different ways to increase your lather and your soap and save on products. So if you guys love to splurge on your skin, those ideas will help you extend your product life. And my third tip, guys, get rid of that dusty old shower head you got in that shower. Get rid of that standard stock shower head. Are you kidding me? Go to bed and bath. Go to Costco, go to BJ's, go get you a better shower head. And one that has like 27 set settings in it. And get something that has like a rain, a rain, um, a rain setting, a waterfall setting, a mist setting, a spa setting, a get the heck out of my face setting. I mean, go and spend some money on a decent shower head and put it in your shower. And trust me. You're going to thank me for that. Splurge. Get rid of that old shower head. If you do nothing else as a result of this video, change your shower head. Get a great soap. Get you a loofah. And let me know in the description below if it had increased your calming, soothing experience when you bathe. Guys, we have to pamper ourselves as much as we can. And it's not that expensive to do the tips that I just added for you.
a black powder onto the base layer of this soap and that is called coconut shell carbon or activated charcoal or coconut charcoal now coconut charcoal is an additive is totally natural and is environmentally friendly and it has a very small carbon footprint and it's derived from coconut shells now it's commonly used to treat poison high cholesterol hangovers and upset stomach it's most effective use is for filtration it can help filter out water and contaminants from water some of you guys may use it to brush your teeth it's supposed to be really good at getting your teeth really white like coconut um, charcoal toothpaste but in soap coconut charcoal powder minimizes pores by keeping the pores clean and freeing it of dirt and oil which helps to minimize the appearance of your pores so it's, it's really good for skin that's oily but overall when you see it in soap it helps to remove dirt and oil out of your skin and I like to use it as a colorant as opposed to actually using black mica because I think it's a natural product to use and it serves dual purposes for color and for functionality won't look nice in somebody's bathroom I'm sorry look at the color look at the so oh you know what look at them swirls look at the swirls look at the beautiful African black soap portion it's just so beautiful this is a beautiful soap if you have a color palette in your bathroom that's similar this is gonna make your bathroom hot okay this is a beautiful soap it's natural going to help get your skin together it's going to help you smell good it's going to calm you down and help you relax so this really came out nice and if you have made it this far you're phenomenal you're awesome and you know what I appreciate you if no one told you this I Natasha appreciate you please check out my website for other soap products please support Africans and African made products they work very hard to support their families making these products please look at my videos please like comment and share and I will see you in the next video Protect your energy. Thanks for stopping by, you guys.